Alright, what's going on guys? Rear Fox I here bringing you a turned uh, game on Diner. And um, other than the fact that this game being 5,000 points, which is still good, it's a game that involves like many little tactics that I do and know very well all in one game. So uh, my commentary will be kind of sporadic, like when there's something I want to point out and show, I'll comment on that. Other than that, I'll try and give like an overall strategy to the map. So right there, at first, you saw the perk uh, to get the thing, I run in there. It only spawns in three places, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Um, there, I cycle through my weapons decently. Um, one overall tip is, well, here, I'll point this one out. You can see that I'm waiting for the zombies, so once I see his gun shoot, even though I fail on the first time, I still get him. Here is where I get a streak of, um, where I run into my pistol, or where I'm running for these guys. I got two zombies on me right now. After the zombies miss their initial, like, 30-foot lunge, like Commando from MW2, if you want to call it, they... Th the chances of them hitting you are actually very difficult. The second, third, fourth, fifth hits are all very difficult to make contact with the with the human. So there you saw I ran forever. I ran from three zombies basically for like six seconds just on double points to get me a couple extra points. So um, running around circles doing screen shakes actually helps in diner turns as well. So um, one basic tip as you saw there is kind of wait for the person to come to you or wait for zombies to kind of your teammate zombies to kind of surround him and then I'll go at once or wait till one of your zombies get or one of your teammate zombies gets killed and then go attack them unlike I did there so then when their gun is cocking back you can go in for the kill um, one overall tip when your gun is cocking you want to like run the sprint backwards run away from the zombies if you see them coming you're not gonna be able to shoot them anyways try and distance yourself between you, you and the zombies there I just didn't see that zombie at all again this gameplay gets a little better towards the end there's a chain symbol monkey that no one ended up getting but um you'll see here I believe I pick up a max ammo soon like He's trying to go for it. It's actually a zombie max ammo, which you'll see I use it in the next, uh, at the end of the video. I use it actually really well and show you how to use it. I never even knew how to use it for a while. It took quite a while for me to learn how to use it. I'm still not 100% sure, but I think I got it down for the most part. So here I pick up the ammo, and I see him in diner, so he's probably reloading executioner. Two bullets, three bullets. He's still reloading, probably. So I get an easy kill. Doesn't get a shot on me. That's as simple as it gets, really. Um... So here I'm still kind of camping out. The corners I would rank, there's basically four main spawn points that I would say are the best. Is one and two, which I really find interchangeable, are the one I spawned in here, and the one straight across to the, my right on the screen right now near the fire. Because they're both open, they both only have one or two entrances. Um, then other than that, I'd say uh, Diner is actually my least favorite. I'd actually rather be in the automobile uh, garage first. Cause you can either stay in there and stay hidden and get to a couple extra points before they even find you because it's like the least common spawn point. Or um, you can run from there into the other open corner that was just in Last Life, which is pretty easy. So um, I like the diner the least best because there's a door really close nearby and it's pretty congested, no room to run. Um, so anyways, I, again, the, there's like four or five pointers that I'll come to at the end here. Here I see a nuke, so I just grab that instead of trying to chase him down. I know I'll be the, I'll be the human now. But uh, like I was saying, there's like four or five really good pointers I will point out towards the end of the video. It starts happening. But uh, my overall record, anyways, is 18-1 and one on turn. In one game, I lost by 100 points, and it was because the guy got the last stand bonus of 250, which, oh, I could not be more upset about. I think it's so annoying, because it's kind of lucky to be the last. Not really. I mean, a little bit of skill, because now I know to time it and, uh, like, pay attention. You know, like, if there's, like, 25 seconds left and I know I'm going to get a dude, I'm probably not going to get him, because I'm going to be I'm going to last probably from 20 seconds to, like, 10 or 5 seconds then I'm going to get killed. Chances are I'm not going to survive for the full 20, so someone else is going to get the last stand bonus. So I either let my teammate die once, and then come back and die again when there's like 7 or 8 seconds left, and then get the kill, and then I'll be able to survive for 5 or 6 seconds. There's uh, much better chances to get that 250, which is huge. So um, I will wait for another point here. We have 2 minutes left in the game. Didn't look like I got him there. I don't know if you guys want to rewind that, but it looks like he shot me way before I got to him. Um, I believe here's where I get the chain symbol monkey. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I don't know much to tell you guys. Um, I go through all the weapons here. Um, I know they deaden you with... Oh, I know it over... They deaden you first with the M1911. I think it's literally impossible to get a kill with. I am yet to get one unless it's an insta-kill. So the game can be a lot of luck if there's an insta-kill. So here I see... We go, let's go for the max ammo. He picks it up. Easy kill for me. Um, unless you have an insta-kill, that M19 is... 11 is useless that last weapon just try and run and survive um one other huge important tip here's where i get my chain some monkeys here in a sec is to know what gun they're on like when you get killed or when one of your teammates gets killed and you know like 
that the guy just got his executioner, pay attention to the kills. Because there's certain guns that you want to attack with and not attack with. Like when a guy has an M1246 or whatever it is, the shotgun, the second gun, you want to go ahead and wait. You can like wait behind a car or something to uh, to take cover a little distance away. But if he has an M27 or Chico I'm waiting behind a car that doesn't have much cover, just a distance away, he's going to be able to kill you. So that's not, not worth it at all. So you really got to try and pay attention to what weapons they're on and what ranges they have. So you definitely want to learn the weapon layout. There you go, you saw the symbol monkey. Basically, you throw it and it appears like three or four seconds later, it like sucks in a zombie and blows him up or something. I'm not exactly sure, but then you can literally retrieve it and use it again. So that's where you get the chain symbol monkey achievement thing. Um, but anyways, 30 seconds left. That was a silly move right there. Uh, running in there. I thought my teammate would go, but here my teammate does go. He gets the kill, unfortunately. But the only reason I do get this 5,000 point game is because I have a times two at the end of the game and I get 500 for the last man standing bonus. But like I said, I still think I can get like a 6,000, 6,500 point game by the end. I don't think it's that impossible. I'd rather prefer to get 50 kill game. I think that's more impressive. My highest is 41, but I know I can do it. It's just sometimes people leave way too early for me to get anything. So that's kind of annoying. But anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry guys, forgot to mention, here are just the three spots I said I would bring up at the end of the video. One right here, and these are pretty important because you want to get that first life in the in the game for sure. And again, I don't believe there's any more. I've played 19 games, these are the only three it's ever ended up in. So there could be a fourth or fifth, but I don't think so. Um, and I had to do this in a transit game, obviously. And right here. So thanks for watching.